All right, everybody, we're starting Far Harbor. I load it up, and it says, listen to this. Setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case, and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. Tell me with that reporter, huh? All right, um... Wait, what did he say? You see, you got a report, huh? Be careful there. Oh no. How come whenever something easy? Where's tell me to go? This thing happens around here. Well, isn't Ellie inside? I heard there was some crazy stuff going down. Yeah, she's in Nick's place. Why is it telling you? Might be bug or something. And by the way, I don't know where Axbot is. Maybe he's not allowed here or something I'm like that. Here. We got a new case while you and Nick were Yeah, out. sure thing. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell here. me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. I had a worried look a mile long. I'm on it. Check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. All right, let's go then. All right, let's let's go to the sanctuary real quick. Because I know Axbot's a companion I want to take with me. So you can like take on anything. So let's go see if he's at Sanctuary. Because that's the only place. I could think that he could be. Yeah sorry this video is probably going to be uploaded late or tomorrow. I had finals today and all that. I also have them tomorrow. But not as many finals as I had today. Yeah so I love this gun. Hopefully there's some new guns. Pretty sure there was. There is. So I'm just going to take whatever we have on us right now. There's not much, but we'll just take what we have on us. I don't want to go through like a bunch of stuff. Oh, well, I'll take this 24 hours later. Eh, I guess I'll leave it. Where, where is this dude at? Oh. It looks like they're getting attacked. Sanctuary's probably getting attacked. Is that Ada and everyone else? Maybe he's still at the platform up here. It's been a while since we've been here. I haven't really played at all, so I didn't upgrade anything. Hey, Axbot! Get moving. Time to hit the road. Right. Yeah, cheerful beep. Come on. I want to upgrade him soon, though. Is he coming? He is. Yeah. Oh, he's stuck. That's why. Oh, he's on the edge of the Commonwealth. There must be a new uh, area. Let's head there, guys. Hopefully this will add a couple levels. Probably will. There's a new type of combat armor. Gotta get like position in this chair to play. I don't know how far we're gonna get, because it's probably gonna be like a 15 minute episode. I don't really have much time tonight, so you know I gotta go back to sleep because I got more finals in the morning. The school's over after today. I mean tomorrow. And then I'll be fine to record a ton more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep running. I'd stop running. We're not going to play this in survival mode. That's for my other character. Which I'll, I'll be continuing very soon. I know I haven't recorded very much survival mode lately. 
but I'll record some more later. Is this the location that's on the map? Or no, that's a different location. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like my lurks. Run. Oh. Is Xbox X spot? That was right there. I almost said Xbox. Yeah, he should really help with this DLC. Yeah, I'll let him fight whatever he wants. Where's this? Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, still got a little bit. Oh, we're going outside the map? I love it when they do that. Yeah, I bet this was accessible before. But I don't know, though. We got ghouls. Ow, I hate ghouls. Oh. His laser beam. Oh, I'm sorry, X, but. We need to get him a better gun. Nah, the axe does all the work, basically, and that laser beam on his head. They didn't extend the field of view, though. <laughs> it's not, it's like all foggy, too. That's kind of cool they push it all the way out here. Yeah, ooh, a little light that house. It's not actually a lighthouse, but all right. Take a guana on the stick. Thank you very much. Wow, this is far away. Where are we even at? I'm kind of wondering if Damn where it. it ends at. Come in. Right up here. I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Would you please? We've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone ha- What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Uh, I'm with Valentine's, Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story, story? with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. Here to help. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter, Kasumi, likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Uh, I'll find her. I'll find I'm her. I'm not gonna ask for money. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. All right. It looks like we can ask a couple more questions for both of them. And yeah, let's, let's ask a couple questions. Mr. Nakano, did you have questions about my daughter? Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. 
I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Any more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Reasons for leaving? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Rei. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. All right, no we more got questions right now. His work quickly, detective. Dialogue. Uh, let's talk to her, Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Reasons for leaving? You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more. Oh, she said more frightening. That was an accident. Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotective. Details about. I'd Kasumi. like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we. No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Tell me what's wrong. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. All right, what's next? Oh, investigate the boathouse. I'll even have this out in the back. Huh. What is this right here? Let's explore this real quick for first. Oh, how far this goes up. Hey, look at this. Wow. Even though it's actually way far out of the map, it just puts it right there. So we're searching. Terminal, um, picture frame. Search the picture frame. Yeah. Safe key. Ooh. Grandfather's note. Dear Kasumi, if you ever get locked out of the safe, then answer is in here in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, Granddad. Alright, what do we got? Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds...
sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. I'm <laughs> just looking at the cat. I heard a meow. I was like, well, where does that come from? Alright, guys. We're going to end this up here. It said it was going to be like a 15 minute. It turned out to be a 16 minute. The next episode, we'll talk to him, we'll leave, and go to Far Harbor.